In this video, we're gonna talk about prosperity. No, no, don't go, don't go. Hello, my name is Dustin Barker. I'm the author of Hello, God Says My Name Is. I love talking about Jesus and all the good things he has done for us and wants to do for us. Did you know that God wants you to prosper? God wants you to have prosperity. I know, I know, I know. There may be someone out there that says, Dustin, are you one of those prosperity preachers? Well, just hang on a moment before I even get to that. People need to be careful what they're making fun of. Sadly, many in the church get mad when they even hear the word prosperity. Prosperity is a Bible word. So before we just start saying prosperity isn't biblical, let's examine the Bible. Psalm 128 verse two, it says, you will eat the fruit of your labor, blessings and prosperity will be yours. Proverbs 21, 21, whoever pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity, and honor. Proverbs 19, 8, the one who gets wisdom loves life. The one who cherishes understanding will soon prosper. I could go on and on, but one last one. Proverbs 11, 25, a generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. Now I want to ask you a question. Is it God's will for you to be generous? That's a pretty simple one. Yes. So if God wants you to be generous and he tells us that a generous person will prosper, then it must be God's will for you to prosper. So we see prosperity is biblical. Have there been people that have abused this? Yes. Have there been people who have preached this message for selfish gain? Yes. But we don't just throw out everything because others have made mistakes. So before we keep moving forward, what is prosperity? It means that you have more than enough. Friend, it's not just money. It's every area of your life physically, emotionally, relationally, in marriage, to have peace and joy, but it also includes financially. John 10.10, 10, Jesus said, I came to give them abundant life in every area. God wants you to prosper in every area of your life. And what does that mean? It means that you have more than enough. Remember, God is a too much God, not a just enough God. Psalm 23 says, the Lord is my shepherd, my cup. Come on, you know this. My cup overflows. Or maybe you said it like this, runneth over. So back to your questions. Am I a prosperity preacher? Well, according to what I just laid out, yes. Meaning God wants you to prosper and do well in every area of life to display his goodness and his character, and this includes financially. So why should we prosper? Let me give you the two main reasons I believe God wants you to prosper. Number one, to finance the kingdom of God. Whether you like it or not, it takes money to get things done in the earth. It takes money to build churches, to send missionaries, to buy food. It takes money to travel and preach. God wants you to prosper so you can fund his assignments in the earth so we can tell more people about our good God and our good Savior Jesus who paid the price for us. He wants us to prosper so you can give big to ministries that are preaching and teaching his word. This includes having more than enough so when God tells you to bless a person as well. The second reason I believe is to enjoy your family. God loves family. He wants you to prosper and have more than enough so you can enjoy what he gave you. Ecclesiastes 3.13 says, and also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of God. It's the gift of God to enjoy what you build, what you create. Some people have money, but they never enjoy it. There are people who have a lot of money, but then they commit suicide. Why? Because money isn't happiness. The blessing of God is not just having wealth, but being able to enjoy it. God wants you to prosper, to enjoy your family. Take them on fun family vacations where you give the Lord credit and be able to have a nice safe home that you can enjoy with friends and family. So let me say those one more time. I believe the purpose for your prosperity, for your abundance, is to be able to do two things, fund God's kingdom and to enjoy your family. I always enjoy telling people this, God doesn't care what you have, he cares what has you. God doesn't care if you have money, he cares if it has you. God wants to bless you, he wants to give you more than enough so you can be a blessing and enjoy this earth that he made with you and me in mind. Just make sure as he prospers you, remember who did it. God wants you to increase, he wants you to go up, he wants you to be a city on a hill, but he wants you to remember to give him the credit. Don't be discouraged where you're at. Just start where you're at. Start looking for opportunities to be generous and start believing God for increase. But at the end of the day, money means nothing without Jesus. We are all gonna leave the earth someday without our money, without our possessions. Make sure you have asked Jesus to be your savior. Well, hey, my friend, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this video helped you. Click the like button below. Subscribe if you haven't. 
comment so we can hear from you. And guess what? We'll see you in the next video. Bye.